Welcome back to Mason Talks. So the Cleveland Browns have continued to add to their defensive line. Last night, the Browns signed former Raiders and 49ers defensive tackle Maurice Hurst Jr. to a one-year deal. Now, this is a similar move to other defensive tackle additions that the Browns have made in the past few seasons under the Andrew Barry regime. Hurst is a former 2018 fifth round pick out of the University of Michigan. He had a couple of decent seasons with the Raiders, but then his career completely fell off due to injuries, and he has not even played since the 2021 season. So it is not fair to think that Maurice Hurst Jr. will have a big role with the Browns. He is likely going to be coming to the team to fill the void that was left by Taven Bryan, who of course was signed by the Browns last year and then left this year in free agency. And I think that if you look at some of the other signings the Browns have made at that position, like Taven Bryan is one of those signings they made. And then a couple of years ago, they signed Malik McDowell. Andrew Barry is trying to get creative when it comes to filling in the defensive tackle position. Really, the only player who the Browns have committed either you know high draft capital or high money to, the only player that they have really, really committed to has been uh, Dalvin Tomlinson, who, of course, they gave a big contract to a few days ago. Other than that... You're looking at guys like, again, Taven Bryan, Malik McDowell, uh, Tommy Togiai in the draft, jo uh, Jordan Elliott, Perry and Winfrey. I mean, the Browns have just not really been willing to commit that much capital or that much money to the defensive tackle position. So likely what the Browns are hoping is that Hurst can come to this team and find a little bit of the juice that he had in the you know 2018 2019 seasons where he was at least a pretty solid rotational player for the Raiders and you know it, 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 it's a good thought in theory like I, I can understand what the Browns are trying to do here just taking flyers on these cheap guys in free agency who have some potential but also have uh, some red flags like the injuries for Maurice Turst are absolutely a a red flag. But this methodology has not worked. I mean, you cannot really point to one defensive tackle the Browns have had in the past two years and say, hey, that worked out well. Like Taven Bryan was a failure. Malik McDowell was a failure. Uh, Tommy Togiai, obviously still young, but he has not developed into a starter. Perry and Winfrey's too young to tell. Jordan Elliott's another guy who just hasn't developed into anything meaningful yet. And I don't think that there is a lot of, you know, reason to believe or, or reasons to hope that Maurice Hurst Jr. will be anything other than a low-end rotational piece. And I still think that this is an area of need for the Browns. I mean, Dalvin Tomlinson is a big money signing, and he's absolutely going to be an impact starter for your defense. But I think you, you, you still need more talent at defensive tackle. You still need to have another guy who you can rely on to be your, your, your second starter at that position. And I don't think you're going to get that through the draft, the Browns' first pick, I believe, is pick 42, obviously, in, in the second round. They don't have any first-round picks for the for the next coming years because of the Deshaun Watson trade. So you're not going to be able to get a, a first-round talent defensive tackle. You're going to be looking at somebody either in the second round or in the you know mid-rounds mid of the draft. And those type of players, quite frankly, don't typically end up being starters high-level starters on playoff hopeful teams. So I still think that there is a move to be made for the Browns, whether it be 
uh, in free agency or more likely at this point trade. But I think the Browns need to go out and get another reliable defensive tackle. They don't need to go out and be, you know, give out another gigantic contract or give out even a contract like Dalvin Tomlinson. Like, I don't think that that is necessary. I just think the Browns need to get reliable vets at that position who they can count on and maybe stop taking so many flyers at that position because they just haven't panned out to this point. And it has not proven whatsoever to be a reliable method of filling in your roster spots. But obviously, we're going to give Maurice Hurst Jr. a fair chance like everybody else on this team. I'm just not confident in any way, shape, or form that he's going to be pan- that he's going to pan out to be any better than somebody like Taven Bryan. Um, but let me know in the comments, what do you think of this signing? Do you think this will end up being a good move for the Cleveland Browns? Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.